Hello, and welcome to part 5 of Races within Arin's Archive. In this video, we will talk about the centaur-like species known as the Lohikaru. The large beast slithered through the dark tunnels, revealing itself to the adventuring party. The large beast with four legs, four arms, almost seemed draconic, but also so beastly at the same time. The party got ready for a fight, but then the beast spoke up. Oh! Welcome to my home. What can I get for you? Their voice was uncharacteristically high for how large they were. This was a Lohikaru. A Lohikaru is a mixture of a few different species. Lohikarus are large, centaur-like creatures being experimentally, artificially created. They are half wolf, half dragon but they don't fully seem like that. Their bodies are thick and their centaur-like draconic body extends out to a thin Japanese dragon-like draconic tail. Their heads are more wolf-shaped instead of, and instead of their traditional two arms, they have four arms. Their whole body is covered in fur, which can take any more natural color of the fur or scales from either wolves or dragons. The Lohikaru are the results of experimentations for fusing a few different creatures together. These were the first successes, being a fusion between Dragonborn, Thrykree, and Wolves. Or just most simply, the way they put it, as dragons and wolves, Thrykreens were a minor factor in that, gaining traits from each of them. The Lohikaru, the Lohikaru have been around for over, for around 100 years. However, they are still somewhat rare. The Lohikaru came from a lab and don't have any particular specific history from before that. The original Lohikaru that were made in the lab would have likely would have either a dragonborn or a thrykreen mother and, magically exper and magical experiments would have given them a mutated child. Though Lohikaru can mate and breed with other Lohikaru. Lohikaru, being kind of new to society, doesn't have a full set place into it. Though they are being more accepted and, and their natural gifts at nature make them great at being an herbalist. Most Lohikaru you will find will be living alone or with a family out in the wilds. Though a rare Lohikaru can be found amongst civilizations. The Lohikaru gain a plus two to their wisdom and a plus one to their strength score. They mature at the same rate of humans, but once reaching maturity, they can live to be around 750 years old. Most of these Lohikaru are massive, most standing at around 8 feet tall and almost twice as long as tall as they are. Lohikaru are considered to be of large size. But while the Lohikaru are very large, they are dense, and they have a walking speed of 30 feet. Lohikaru gains, the Lohikaru gain proficiency in nature checks, and in addition, once they reach 5th level, they can cast a spell, speak with plants, once without expending a spell slot. Because the Lohikaru were artificially created, they don't fully understand social cues, and they tend to lead closer to chaotic or neutral alignments. Uh, the Lohikaru will know two languages, they know Draconic and Common, naturally. They have dark vision up to 60 feet, and their most prominent feature is having four arms, allowing them to either hold twice as much equipment with them, or to still be using two hands to hold a weapon, to hold a weapon or two weapons, and use their other two hands to be able to still cast spells with somatic components. They're very, they're a very unique race very interestingly created, and they're much more to the Japanese style, as in the art you can see that they have, are wearing Japanese clothing because this is much more of the style that they were designed for. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to see the later videos coming out. The next video in this series will be about the strange Spectran, a long-lost relative to the Tieflings.